Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as New Vegas using the Old World Blues Courier 6 Redux sub mod, um, specifically designed for New Vegas of course. We're led by Mr. House, who if you don't know Mr. House at this point, I mean you've been living under a rock I guess, but a business tycoon from before the war, Robber House, found his fortune in robotics and computing. His powerful intellect and vast wealth meant that when the bombs dropped, he was ready and managed to save much of Vegas from nuclear destruction. Elusive Despot House watches over the Vegas Strip with the dreams of the future, and we have Judgment Day. In 2065, House predicted that a nuclear exchange between the U.S. and China would take place within the next 15 years and said to put all of his resources into protecting his home city of New Las Vegas. He had his own hotel, the Lucky 38 Casino, fitted with radar jamming systems, missile raids, laser defense network, and life support systems. Incomplete OS. Following the violent defense of New Vegas, the house was thrown into a violent coma, and the majority of his data and robots found themselves corrupted and inoperable for the following decades. Silent protectors incapable of movements or thoughts. When house returned to consciousness, he had a choice to make. Do you dare attempt to salvage his more advanced operating system, or to simply fall back on a stable version? The Great War. There was only one constant in Vegas, and it was change. I was almost fully prepared to prevent the apocalypse from touching my desert jewel, but without the platinum chip, I couldn't stop every missile. I prioritized protecting the suburbs in the few seconds I had to spare. Malaysia Defense is targeted missiles headed for the military industry. Wait, two versus three. We don't have very many civvies, but three seems honestly pretty pretty darn nice. Three more civvies? Three more millies? Yeah. Three families. House hopes to rebuild the world, and to do so he has to start somewhere. And by rebuilding his beloved Vegas. He begins with the three Greek casinos that once rivaled his own Lucky 38, going out to find groups suitable for such establishments. Those can be easily controlled and bring Vegas the moxie it's going to need in the future. The unstable system. Without the platinum chip. I can upgrade my Securitrons or my defenses, numerous power cuts, rapid data corruption, and a coma were the result of my failure. I was faced with a painful choice for using an older and very stable version of my pre-war operating system, or attempting to salvage and use an incomplete operating system which was designed to be more capable of addressing voice and threats. How much more older stable one? Or take a risk. You know, I really don't want to lose that much uh, defense, especially organization, or research speed, so... A stable OS, more organization is always good, more research speed, especially for robots, and New Vegas. The process of rebuilding Vegas didn't happen quickly. And between spending money, hunting for this precious platinum chip, um, and micromanaging the families of the Strip, houses found himself more than occupied. Despite this, he did find the time and money to invest into Vegas itself. Which is always a good thing for us. We need him to spend a lot of money for us. Selecting the pawns. Before the war, Las Vegas was a city of dreams. Uh, where fortunes were won and lost, and of course, in an instant. To recapture that feeling and reap the profits, to draw a crop from across the waste and with bright neon lights, they needed to reopen the casinos and they needed families to run them. Vegas shall become the shining jewel of humanity's future. Our opening Gamora. My first priority in my quest for Build Vegas was to wrest control of the city back from the drugs who squatted in it for centuries. The outskirts of Kuwait and the immediate area surrounding the Lucky 38, the coveted Vegas Strip, was fiercely contested by two tribes. Both Slow the Kin and the Great Khans had a focus on drugs. Uh, and their sheer business made them competitors and enemies. It was clear to me that I had to choose one group over the other if I desired to ignite the rest and claim the city for myself. Initial propositions of both groups came up lukewarm, with the prideful great cons rejecting me outright and the slow the kin dubious to my intentions. Then the fiercest fighting between them began, and I saw my opportunity. No doubt the tribe of my choosing would see reason after my security runs ejected, ejected the other from Vegas, permanently. I desired a criminal element within Vegas, to grease palms and run my black market smoothly and properly, like the mafia used before the atom, or used to before the atom. However, even if I saved the Great Khans, I was splitting them into two thanks to their stubborn Papa Khan. And so as for Slow the Kin, while they might have seemed more agreeable than the Great Khans, they are all that much more slippery. The envious eyes said it all. Ultimately, I made my choice. Slow the Kin was incredibly dangerous, and that's why I liked him so. The Omertas. More political power like that. We're opening the Ultra Lux. Consequences be darned, I would have my Khan aid. Uh, that's a lot of reinforce rate. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one. False Khan, this would be good for more attack. I'm way better just by roll attempts. Holy crap. Yeah, that's very strong. Fancy pickle halibuts, but the Almertas. Where's efficiency gains? Okay, lose stability, production efficiency. And I get more political power here, too. And mobster army. Yeah. Opening of Ultra Lux. After dealing with the largest confrontation Vegas had seen in decades, I wielded my newfound influence to great effect. Following my display of power, many disenfranchised groups approached me for support, while others made their known their opposition to my actions. For better or for worse, I was making a name for myself in the Mojave. Of all the groups that, what, that became known to me, two piqued my interest at the time. The Fiends and a group whose name is Better Life on Seb. The former of the two was Vicious Raiders, Drug Addicts, and Utter Savages. Their leader of Motor Runner had a kind of criminal intelligence about him, and reigned supreme in Vegas' ruined southern portions for years. However, despite the reputation for violence, the latter group was just as abhorrent, if not more so. 
Cannibals, that's where they were. Devourers of the human body's forbidden fruits. Ooh. They squatted in Vegas's peak for refinement. The Ultra Lux and hit from the Mojave at large. I had a clear choice. Either beat the cannibalism out of my neighbors or had the fiend show them how delectable their own innards were. It's very simple. Uplifted the dam to become my white gloves. I let the fiends paint the town red. Use a lot of stability. So we're over here. Consigs. Motor Runner. Or the White Glove Society. I like the White Glove Society. <coughs> We're reopening the tops. After cleaning up the Ultra Lux, for the better or for worse, I have one final casino to staff the tops. And it's prime. The tops was a place with a respectable middle class working man. It not offered carnal pleasure like this neighbor Gamora, or nor were drinks as expensive as cigars like in the Ultra Lux. It was a place where the stakes were low, the drinks were hard, and the stage was populated with class acts. My Vegas needed that, a place for common people, and to recreate that feeling of comfort I needed a classy crew. Thankfully, Vegas has no shortage of suave individuals. Welcome to short change of fellow man. Two groups stuck out to me from amongst the rest, the boot riders and the kings. The former were a tribe of nomads who at first glance had nothing to do with Pompadour and Big Ben, however. An upstart among the ranks, Ben Eagle was looking to shake things up and modernize the group. On the other hand, although around Bunches and Rowdy, the kings were already everything I needed and more. Their stubborn leader might have refused to bow his head once, but perhaps my offer wasn't good enough? It's time for swinging to make a comeback. Despite being a snake, Benny's intelligence proved irresistible. King's ooze, old world style, and the choice is simple. You more stability, you lose political power, which you don't like. I don't like you lose 1% recruitable population, that's not good. Um, so there we go to the kings, it's alright. We go to the chairman, and Benny. Civvies, it's not bad. Construction speed, I don't mind though. Well, into the next word, strength gain? Own operative detection chip. I really don't want to lose that recruitable population, but we're going to need that political power for where we're headed. So I'm going to start to mobilize more. But we have three different routes. We can go with Old Authority of the House, which we are going to go because I love using robots when we can, especially when we get sophisticated robotic tech eventually. You could also go with the Courier 6, which is also a fantastic route to do. Um, Wrath. We were the Wrath of Kaiser. We can join the Legion. Which actually would be probably pretty cool. Don't tread on the bear. You can join the NCR. Ace in the hole. Meeting of the three families. Coup d'etat. Arizona killer. You'll know when it happens. You'll know when it happens. And there's all this stuff too. No gods, no masters. Eureka. I'm the Hobby Merger. And then you have the J Benny route with Be uh, the Benny route. The Joker route with Benny. So. Ain't that a kick in the head. Family Man, Gamora, Thugs, Tops, Thugs, Ultra Lux, Thugs, all in. Mr. House dies. Um, so, there's all that. Curious 6 would be really cool, but I I, I want to get more uh, stuff here. Expansion inwards or outwards. My new Vegas was slowly coming together despite my early awakening, but decisions remain. I could either focus my attention on creating a rich inner Vegas or a poor and a poor free side, or I could attempt to include all of Vegas into my grand vision. Inner Vegas was my priority, it was predicted to make the most profit. Bring Outer Vegas a host of public support. Nope. Inner Vegas. Um, fine. I also want to go to war with these guys as fast as possible because I want to expand. I really, really want to expand fast. At least, or at least a little bit. Old authority, more political power, side bets. It's not bad either. Um, long ago I ruled Vegas with machines my wealth. There were none in the city could stand against me now more than ever. That is true. I shall again learn to respect my name, Robert House. My authority must be absolute if I'm to save this world from the mess it has become. Side bets. In the area around New Vegas, there are many different denizens that are of interest. Hop them out or taking them over, they can only prove useful in strengthening Vegas. Great. Uh, Gamora. Get another arms workshop would be nice. Another civvy too. Oh, good. Right Kickstart Vegas. Another civvy. The king. Hey, oh. The king is the voice and soul of the people of New Vegas. The downtrodden many, many who live in the ruins of the place before it became a bastion of civilization once again. Frustrated with the mistreatment of his people and distrustful of the NCR, the king helps create a New Vegas and puts people first. That's really good to get because we need that one. Uh, I'm going to go jump ahead and grab that. Good. We could probably really, 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 really use it. Group population, yeah, that's pretty good. Every man a king. Nice. Was it secure outer Vegas? There's a lot of good stuff here we can choose here. I like the sub mod. Off that workshop. Or Klamath Bob Liquors. The Casa Madrid. Interesting. Or the West Side Militia. 
Robco Return or Born. Robco Industries was one of the largest, most influential computer and robotics corporations in the pre-war United States. Within these countless facilities, scattered around New Vegas, one can find potential created an endless host of automatons. Let me side bets first. Things that go boom. Peculiar follower. I can make you care. UFO scouting. Oh, we just go to war with the Sky Reavers anyways? It's probably a bad idea. Some weirdo from Freeside says he saw a UFO for the first 51st time, but what the heck is a UFO? I had a curiosity to interrupt. The weirdo says that UFOs are where the aliens ride in the sky and he took, saw one fly up north. Time to take a look. I created our own faction. Just by Rogel's times? I think that's great. Reunion. Area 51 raid. Oh, you get more attack for 300 days. Outer strip politics. See, I cannot focus all my attention on the strip. There is occasional nuisance outside my domain that I need to deal with the times. Economic miracle. New Vegas is going to need to thrive like it did before the Great War. In order to do that, I'm going to need trade, gambling, and all the vices one can imagine. It's not hard to bring about, mind you, and I know that the New Vegas will be an economic miracle, just like Vegas before was, or what Vegas was, before the bombs fell. Well, I decided to take the risk, and now we're at war with the Sky Reavers. For fun, of course, but we're doing Protectron security, because we're, we kind of need it. Protectron's the most widely used robot created by Robco Industries. While generally not intended for combat, it's cheap and simpler construction allowed many industries to modify it. It has been modified for medical maintenance, firefighting, and law enforcement use, so I may also wish to modify it for more personal means, of course, as well. Um, we're going to need more, so. And handy and gutsy service bots. Mr. Andy Utility Boss and his military variant, Mr. Gutsy, has a line of robot models created by General Atomics International. Both are armed with his buzz saw and flamethrower, which is deadly at close range. Gutsy models are armed with a plasma gun, roughly equivalent to a plasma pistol for long range combat. So they've been attacking us here. We finally made another division. So that's good. Very good. Uh, so James Comfort, which are, uh, maybe do, 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 monthly population is not bad. Production expansion. Robots aren't an easy thing to make, so then expanding your facilities further will also focus on cranking them out in mass. That would be great. As you can see, they are trying so hard to uh, get rid of us, but I don't, we're not going to go quietly. As long as they can't pierce us, we'll be okay. Uh, losses, they're at 200, so it's not doing much damage, but it's something. Hope we don't get war declared upon us, but you never know. And we did it just so that we could get started with this. Uh, could use some more manpower eventually. Factory output might be really good, but we're going to go down here and grab more political power. As long as you're attacking, I'm okay with it. Get some more Mr. Gutsies, handy robot research speed, more support robot stuff, production expansion, platinum chip, expedient delivery. Ooh, we want this one. Securetron deployment line. The BDQ 88B Securetron produced by House Industries supports only two operating systems, Mark 1 and Mark 2. The Mark 1 operating system locks drivers for the auto repair systems and explosive weapons, limiting the robot's arsenal to the built in X25 Gatling laser and the 9mm machine gun. That'd be great. You use it. Well, a little bit of mandatory service never had anybody. The followers just stabbed themselves. And then Sierra was victorious in Navarro. Look at that. More research speed, please. Alright, so we got this guy, which is important. Winslow. Uh, we have the Golden Gecko. We've got Robco Industries. And what do we have? Anything here we want? Some sort of artist. Uh, tourism Profit. Mr. New Vegas. Me again, Miss New Vegas, reminding you that you're nobody until somebody loves you. And that somebody is me. I love you. I do want Major Reed, though. Joy Flyers, I like the Close Air Sport. Can we grab anyone else here? Reserved AI. Hardness, Max Entrenchment. Soft Attack, Hard Attack, Piercing, Skiratron, Unpredictable. Unorthodox Protocols, Offensives. I kind of want more Soft Attack. Let's be aggressive. So, any more damage you do will be a little bit more. First batch, huh? Oh, we could use that. The first batch of freshly minted Securitrons from the newly really rebuilt facilities rolled out the belt just hours ago. While Securitrons aren't a new sign in Vegas, uh, robots with a fresh coat of paint and shiny weapons certainly are. Oh, this remains and retains power, huh? Okay. The tops, Gamora. Where the strips of the casinos are refined, the Gamora is rough around the edges and coarse, as they offer sleazy sex for sale. 
Double attractions, this is prostitution, then booze and drugs, and finally gambling. The Tops. The Tops offers classic Vegas experience with cool hip fun and macho posturing to entice those with a sense of style. That's a place for a manly man with a name on each arm, and the people that run it are just as ritzy. Nice. Alright, losses. Doing a little bit more damage now, it's good. And we're gonna be here for a while, so. Songs, well, they wanna keep doing that, I'm okay with it. They might be out of equipment, which is nice to see. And once we get them secure drones, we can use those on an offensive purpose and uh, start beating the crap out of them, really. Excellent. Still gonna need some anti-tank though. No matter what. Support commit, sure. Ah, there's only half way built. Um, I'd rather just New Vegas security's nice. I'd rather just go with this. And you know what we can It's fine. You know, then I keep attacking us too. I'm okay with that. Uh, I usually go quality. I like quality more. Oh, maintenance support. Maintenance support companies would be very good too. Quantity. That's not bad. Oh, we need this as well. Ah, oh, good. Let the money roll in. Made a prospectors. Form a nation later on. Ah. Good. Pretty much. We gotta be way better than them. Um, we can do that one too. Get some more army XP first. What do we got here? Not much. With them attacking with two, you know, multiple divisions here like this, I'm okay with it. The more is nice. A platinum chip. A platinum chip was always the key to the puzzle that's protecting my beloved Vegas, and remains so to this day. Its recovery shall allow me to wake in my armies and finally guarantee a future for New Vegas. And Ultra Lux, or Lux. It's an establishment of a curl or five men that delicate, delicately conceals its operators' more questionable tendencies. There are none who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the strip. Is there any compliance? Well, we're going to come back over here and do uh, this one. Expedient delivery. Uh, finally, after thousands of caps spent. I have located the platinum chip. However, despite my expectation of expedient delivery, my curio stopped by the Brotherhood on the way out of San Francisco. I don't have much control in the region, and the longer the curio stays in the Brotherhood hands, the more likely they are to discover the chip's true nature. They're too stupid to discover it. I'll wait. Those ones will look out the other way if I offer them something. Hmm. Let's go with that one. Delay delivery. What if we... things that boom. Since the early days of the founding of New Vegas, locals tell stories of an isolation group hanging around the Nellis Air Force Base. Anyone who dared enter the vicinity of the base was peppered with artillery and no contact has been established. With the coming war between the NCR and the Legion, the Vegas cannot afford to have these so-called boomers be unchecked. I'm okay with that. And a little bit of anti-tank too. That'd be good. Oh, we have six divisions now? Well, I'll do this thing. So you're a life giver, you're a robotics expert, you're gonna be a local leader too. And you're gonna go in. There you go. And Air Force Area 51 rape. The skies returned with reports they didn't find any UFOs, but they did find an old military base further north of Ellis, or Nellis. Major House's database suggests this is the old Area 51 base, and it's now a Raider Fortress. Taking the base for the Vegas will be a good business move. Yes, it will. Do 
doing all right. We're gonna have a little bit of a problem here. That's okay. Oh, we got tons of political power. My bad. Country management. Uh, you know what? Gets more research speed too. I like that. Anti-advertisement. Yeah. Probably more stability as well. Mm, internal repair, adaptive subroutines, armed politeness. Full maintenance. I like the recovery rate. Seventeen gammas. Seventeen gammas designed with intention of improving the capability of our AI to react and adapt to situational threats through self-learning and improvement, allowing our AI to more effectively recuperate from losses and defend against threats. Yeah, pretty much. Sure. Can you get across here in time? There you go. See Hidden Valley. Let's see what I must have won, huh? It's only seven divisions, but we should be able to win somewhere here. Delamar, huh? Resistors are good. Good. Delay delivery. During a meeting with my right hand man, I was interrupted by a notification for one of my securitrons. That darn curate had finally found their way to me. Sending my men to see the fool, they walked away with half of what they've been promised and received my precious platinum chip. Finally, now to work. Ooh, add Mark II operating system, replace stable OS with platinum OS. We'll lose 10% organization, which I don't 50% organization, which I don't like. We'll get some 5% 5 organization, flat 5. Lose a little bit of research speed, hit a little harder. Well. Mark II operating system, what could be worse? The Vault. Assaultron Assaulters. Assaultron was constructed by Rob Cohen Industries for the United States military as a frontline support robot. It's fast and deadly up close with its melee capabilities, deploying a de devastating laser that can destroy heavy equipment and can even deploy stealth technology. This makes an ideal assault unit to take out enemy defensive position ahead of the main attacking force. Absolutely. So that done. Robots. Yes. Please. Maintenance companies are good too. Uh, oh, it's all right. Dealing with the boomers. The boomers are hostile towards anyone who tries to approach their base and refuses to trade with anybody. But we manage to evade their artillery fire and earn their respect. It would be New Vegas' best interest to increase relations with the boomers and have them point their guns at the enemy. But for now, trading basic materials with them will do. Nice to meet the boomers. Ah, great. Do you need more? Oh, maybe it's under here. Ah. Ah, yes. Scaretron's 50% more breakthrough. Wow. And soft attack. Scaretron's heart attack, air attack. Yeah, we definitely have to get this. More, ton more HP and armor. Oh, yeah. That has to be next on the docket. Nice. Good stuff. Putting these guys into place is always good. Thousand. Well, we're just gonna build ourselves up so we can't get any bigger. Nice. Hey, level eight, pretty good. Get some water here to keep the nest and refreshed. Great. We got him. I knew we could do it. We started with only two divisions. We ended up with eight. Oh, we don't even have a field marshal. Whoops. Uh, we need more command power. Or worse, parts too slow. That's not good for the NCR winning there. Um, maybe we could take down the white legs. I just want to expand enough so we have enough time to do whatever we need to here. Search for alien tech. Restore the base. Oh, that'd be really good. Assume direct control. 
Restore the base first. But the base finally got true up New Vegas. Much of the base is in need of repairs. Thankfully, it didn't suffer much damage from the nuclear war, and we can restore many of its systems and structures. Do we have anything for white legs here? No. White gloves, white gloves. Crush the white legs. Light from Zion. 80s anointed New Hammond and Timekeepers. We do later on. Um, beyond the Mojave. Oh, look at this. We could wait and do that. Search for alien tech. There's, there really isn't any aliens in Area 51. That's just old world myths, but a little prospect in an operation would hurt. Sophisticated weapon technology. 80s anointed New Hammonds and Timekeepers. That's the case. Can we get, I don't want to get the sleepers. I mean, we're still fighting the Legion too there, too. I will grab her. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe. All right then. Asking to investigate rumors. Some of our people have heard rumors about structures out in the middle of nowhere. Wrecks of metal towering buildings made from concrete. Very good. Oh, wait, hold on. As much as I want that, we do, uh, we do need to keep working on our land doctrine. One of these next ones will. Uh, you know what? You don't need it, though. This one's more important. Oh, yeah. That'll be good. And honestly, what's our uh, thing here? It's only 10 combat width. I bet you I want to add more. Search for the base. Search for alien tech. Assume direct control. We didn't find much other worldly tech in Area 51 base. It's time to assume direct control of. Uh, the surrounding areas instead. Any raider remnants will be driven out and any untouched ruins will be prospected. Perhaps alien tech was out there instead? No, it could be, maybe. Did spread propaganda. Nice. Finally for the party. Nice, good stuff. Hmm. Alien themed tourism campaign. Well, beyond the Mojave. Outside the Mojave wasteland, there are further factions that could potentially aid us in against the Legion or NCR. With opportunities arise, it would be wise to ally with them or take the resources for our own. Yes, it would. Southern Nevada. The southern part of Nevada is home to an assortment of different raider gangs, rebels, and complete enigmas. Very dangerous factions, and none of them willing to negotiate out of principle or ambition. Sheer ambition, of course. Driving the North Road. <clears throat> the roads of the Southern Nevada Territory is beset by raiders called the Grabbers. These come are new nuisances in the way of the New Vegas' economic expansion and should be dealt with accordingly. New World Order. Of course, we do want to get down here, too. We need Hoover Dam and Helios 1, though. Get two research slots and sophisticated robotics. It's pretty nice. Cybernetics. Oh, man, they're coming up, aren't they? Mm. 
damage garrisons, that's pretty good too. Good. Let's come down here. And you know what? We're gonna go with the uh, Steel Soldiers. Yeah, they're they might not be able to the specs according to Rob Corp John Tom's routines or outlines, but uh, but a metal death machine is a metal death machine. It's very true. All right. Robo brain strategists. Robo brains are multi-purpose robots. Their memories and programs are stored inside an organic or partially organic brain contained in a doomed domed shell atop their chassis. Uh, they are considered intuitively superior to most robots, as human brains allow them a much wider range of responses and functions. Week. Yes, it is. Here. You might just be able to uh, do a lot of damage to them, maybe. Ah, more sand, that sucks. The vault. The vault lies across the river, but it's not a challenge to smuggle an individual of opening it and retrieving me for my army, for there's no force in the wasteland that could stop their departure. They shall finally ensure the safety of my people. I want to see them like win here first, but I also want to keep expanding. I like attacking. Oh, we are on push ground. Control Northern Nevada. The northern part of Nevada is home to the Big Circle, a collection of formidable factions, well established histories. Two of the most noteworthy are the Vault City and New Reno. They are rivals of the economy in the state of Nevada. It's time to bring them to the table through talk or through force. John Blot, sleeping beneath the earth, across from Hoover Dam, in a facility unlike any other, is my army of secure drones awaiting their activation signal. Slumbering beneath an old world weather monitoring station. With a platinum chip, I can upgrade them all, activate them, and instruct the facility to begin constructing more secure drones. All I need is to deliver the chip to the phys physically, and the automated processes will do the rest. One of my henchmen can go in disguise. One of my more capable henchmen can go in disguise. Also, task forcing can cause a distraction. Firefight, huh? Benny's infiltration. I sent Benny to infiltrate the Legion's camp across the, fr uh, from the dam. I was easy enough to find a uniform for him. Dead legionaries are ubiquitous. Benny's skills of persuasion made slipping into the camp easy enough, but whether or not he would manage to enter the vault remained to be seen. I must wait. The chairman succeeded. I've never been overly keen of Benny. He was capable, smart, and knew how to improvise, but he had ambition. Like a snake in the grass, if you turn your back on him, he'd regret it once he sunk his fangs in. This is why I'd been hesitant to send him to the Legion. I was fearful that his ambition would get the better of him or worse his pride. However, Benny had grown up as a nomadic tribal, and while the Legion might not be might be alien to him, its soldiers weren't. By his account, he effortlessly slipped his way through the numerous areas of fort, the fort through both persuasion and stealth. Arriving at the weather station, he took out the guards and entered the vault. It wasn't long before he was on the home stretch, removing his trashy garb and bear that was something more suited to his tastes. While I might not fully trust Benny's purpose in, I can trust his results. My arm is ready, now it's time for true progress. Ten Mark II Secure Drone Divisions will be created. Ooh! We get a little bit less conversion speed, which is fine. We, never, we don't really convert stuff very much anyways. But 15% better conversion cost? That's 
extraordinarily strong weather station. You know, that's not bad. We've been making you guys. Well, we're here. Thank you. Yes. Hey, that's the turn of our XP. I love it. Great. Let's see if we can take at least this one. Nice. Oh. All right, we got both. Hey, that's great. Uh huh. Very aggressive here. I love it. One more organization for us too. Um. Negotiate with Vault City. Vault City is one of the most well-known settlements in the Big Circle. A place with more technology and manpower than your average vault. This makes it. Quite the dangerous adversary due to their impressive facilities. It would be far better to go the diplomatic approach first before doing the aggressive approach. I do kind of want to take on the 80s now, though. If at all possible. With that going on, what's your support equipment look like? Well, Name arm XP. Not a big issue, though. Good, and we circle and destroy them. See? Great. Sons of Kaga, thank you. Thank you for playing. Bureaucracy. Nice. Huey Town's a weird little place, but that's okay. A mysterious town of TVs. This place holds many secrets, incredibly advanced technology that not many has ever seen. No place in the way seems to have better grasp of cybernetics in this town, not even the followers of the apocalypse or the brother to steal. We can try to study it, apply it for our own uses, but it'll never be at the same level. Negotiations break down. Negotiations with the Vault City was unsuccessful. Vault City has a long history and lofty goals for the Wasteland, and though not easily agreed to be the underling who would want to derail them from their vision. If the NCR, who has a long standing with the relations with the Vault City, was unable to fully bring them under control, how else can Vegas then? War is the only option. Vegas has made a huge mistake. Yeah. Vault City Takeover. Get away from this one. Security. Sentry Bot Enforcers. I can make it care, huh? Sentry Bot's military serial numbers SB Quadruple X are security robots made before the Great War with an express purpose of participating in the heaviest of firefights during war. Cool. Very nice. Nice. 
Defending boomers. There's so many munition stockpiles that the boomers have that we can have access to. After hanging around Nellis and learning about more of them, we can help them out in exchange for more boom. They have problems with the solar rays, medicine, and explosive ants. We can also find the little girl's twin and get one of the mechanics' a girlfriend. Okay, boomers. So do we get any more cores or do we have to manually core things ourselves? Let's go look see. Sky Reavers. Flagstaff. Mojave we'll Merger. Architect of Destiny. New World Order. Further Republic. You and what army? Western Expedition. Further Republic. Secure the Southern. Ah. Mojave Merger. Sons of Kaga. Okay. Aurora has to be dead for us to core the Sons of Kaga. Jericho. Interesting. Oh, new Reno's almost dead. Look at that. Wow. Do I really want to wait for the 80s to get really large or the white legs to get really large? No. No, do we still have that modifier on us right now? Yeah. Well, we need some more manpower. And of course we find him. Oh. The arena's a powerful nation, it's not to be trifled with. The crime family's arena is formidable, maybe even just more influential than the three families of Vegas. Making a business deal with them would be a wise approach, such as going guns and blazing, and the rivalry. It's time to start a certain world control of casino businesses. Let's drive literally between the families of New Vegas and New Reno must come to an end. Um, uh, well, okay. Well, maybe a couple of things here and there. Valair. The boomers long for air superiority. They've always eyed the mysterious I Lady in the Lake, which is rumored to be crashed B-29 bomber in the Lake Mead. We can win the support of the boomers by securing this bomber and learn how to build a sky fortress ourselves. Well. And Area 51 is a bust. No alien technology, or there was no standout military tech either. For now, that is. But this area can be rebuilt. Once rumors of aliens spread among the wastes, this place will be the tourist trap for travelers coming from the big circle. But I think I might just end it there. We've done actually really well so far. Uh, the Vibrants have done really, really well too. 
And we're probably will start the next episode going to war with them, maybe, or someone else. Because uh, we're expanding really nicely so far. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue on playing with Mr. House and New Vegas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.